All right, I've been <coughs> promising to do an update on the no welt sheath. Uh, just a small little thing to make it a little bit easier, I think. Um, I'm not going to go through the entire process of making the sheath. I just want to show you the differences, and then I'll, I'll show you the finished product when I'm done and how that works. But basically, you start out with three pieces of leather. Um, here's a piece that's cut, and the way I determine the length, I want to take the knife that I'm going to make the sheath for. I'll leave plenty of room at the bottom uh, area because I'm going to be trimming that. And I want just the top of the handle above the fold in the sheath. And then all I do is trace the blade with a pen. And that's it. Just tracing the blade with the pen. Um, and then, if you'll recall in the first uh, way I showed to do it, you take and you, you thin that leather in there. You take a, a knife or um, a scything tool and you thin it. Well, we're not going to thin it anymore. We're going to actually cut it out, but I do want to leave a little flap at the top. So I'm just going to mark that. And the way I cut it out, pretty simple, just with a sharp razor knife. and then cut across on that flap to leave that small piece at the top. Alright, so that's what you're left with. Now you've got a hollowed out. Instead of thinned out, you've got it hollowed out completely. And now this, I want to transfer to the back of this, and the reason I want to do that is so that I can line it up when I'm gluing it. And also, you'll see with this flap why I do that. that flap was it just comes up a little bit and across and that's where the flap is going to sit now on the first uh, way I showed to do it you also thin this part so you thin or you didn't do anything down here I'm sorry uh, on the back piece of this leather you just thin this and then for your top piece you thin the back of that we're not going to do anything with the top piece this time we're going to do it all here but now I do need to thin that flap and then the area that the flap is going to go. So to do that, I just score it a little bit. And you can use the same knife. I like to use something a little bit sturdier. And I'm going to move the camera so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. And hopefully show it. And then just bunch it up like that and I just use an old hickory parent knife that I keep in my workshop and I just like a little bit stiffer blade than the razor knife to thin that leather just a little bit and that's why I scored it so you can follow the edges and then I want to do the same thing with this flap that I cut. I didn't cut it completely. I need to cut this side. Okay. And then I just need to score it like I did the uh, bottom piece. And now all I want to do is thin that flap. This is a little trickier because it's not a solid piece here. Just be careful that you don't cut yourself. If I do cut myself, I'm going to edit it out. So don't worry. You won't see blood. But with a thicker knife, that's a little bit easier. And then, when this gets glued down like that, that flap gets pushed in. Now you've got a, a fairly good pocket to get the blade started in. Next thing I want to do is for the top piece, I come right to the top of those cuts with this piece. And I'm going to cut a little bit off of it on the bottom. Yeah. And again, nothing has to be real precise here because you're going to do that later with the bandsaw. So that's the piece that's going on here. 
Alright, well, I do like to transfer the blade shape. Before I do that, I'm going to mark an outline so I can line it up. Sorry, that didn't all show. But I marked the outline on this sheath so when I put this top piece back on, it lines up properly. And now what I do is just mark the blade on the back. Now I'm not going to cut, let me make sure it's still lined up. I'm not going to cut that top piece I just laid on there, but you'll see why I mark it here in a little bit. And you can take those lines all the way to the top. So after I glue that on, and then I glue this piece on, the knife will slide right into that pocket because we've got that depression right there with these little flaps. The reason I marked this is when I do my stitching holes, it's an extra step, but it, it doesn't take very long and it makes it come out a little bit better. I'm going to mark the back of this top piece, and the reason I did the outline of the blade here, I'm going to mark this with my stitching wheel, drill the holes in this, and then lay it on there, and after it's all glued up, then I've got those holes to be my guide. One thing I still need to do, because there's three pieces of leather involved with this, is I need for my strap, and I use a thinner piece of leather for the strap, I need to mark the outline for my strap or where I'm going to put that. So again, with the blade in there, like that, I know I want to put a strap here. And I want the snap to be right about there. I'm just going to cut those out, and uh, then this will be ready to glue up. If you're going to do any tooling, which I am going to do, um, I do it to this piece of leather before I glue it on. Because remember, after everything's all glued up and the strap's installed and all that, then I just take the bandsaw and I cut the outline of the sheath. Um, just simple and that hasn't changed any. So the only real change to this process is tooling that piece of leather before you put it on there and then cutting that out completely. It makes for a, a little bit easier process I think. Uh, what I've got left here is just to punch a hole, cut a little slit, glue it up, glue it up. I'm done. I'll probably dye this leather before I uh, do. This is a knife that's going to be in there. It is not done yet. With the hole cut and the slot for the strap and the snap cut, the next thing I want to do is put the strap through here. And you can see I've already marked this, but basically mark the width of the strap on the back of that so that when I glue it up you don't have the strap sticking up because this is going to be in the belt loop area and you don't want it to catch so it'll sit flush with the uh, leather here so since that's marked already and again just take the uh, knife and score that edge a little bit you don't want to cut too deeply and again using the little bit sturdier knife you can do it with the razor I just find it easier this way just skin off a little bit of that leather. If you go too deep and cut all the way through, you get to start again. And at some point you will probably do that. And then what I do is thin a little bit of the leather from here out so that it will sit flush. I'll get that done, uh, get everything dyed up. Don't need to show you the dyeing, uh, how to dye the leather. I'm going to do some tooling on this before I dye it. Uh, get that. Okay, as you can see, it's all sewn up. I've got a line mark that I want to cut with the bandsaw to cut out the sheet. So let's go ahead and do that.
got it cut out. I'm going to clean it up a little bit on the belt sander and then dye the edge and put a, a sealant on it and we'll be done. Okay, the sheath is done. Um, the knife's not, but the sheath is. Allows you to use fairly thick wet leather. Without putting that welt in, you're saving, you know, a little bit of width in it. And the threads will not come in, or the blade will not come in contact with the threads. You see how that works there. It just slides into that little pocket that you've created. Pretty simple way to make a sheath. It's one way. There's probably a hundred. Thanks for watching.